Hi, I'm Sierra Phillips. This is a Penn State Today Quick Cast. Major renovations and new facilities are on the way to University Park as part of Penn State's master plan for its sports facilities. The plan announced this week includes reducing the capacity of Beaver Stadium but keeping it over 100,000. Also on the list, more chairback seating, new concessions, new restrooms, and premium seating options. Other campus projects include new indoor tennis and swimming facilities and renovating Jeffrey Field. This is, this is aspirational in terms of, of our programming. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind at some point we will have to value and engineer certain aspects uh, of the programming of, of these facilities uh, to again make sure that uh, we build exactly what we can afford. Penn State hopes to raise at least $120 million in donations before starting the first phase of construction. Athletic Director Sandy Barber says cost estimates are the next big step in terms of implementing the plan. Two former Penn State administrators have pleaded guilty to misdemeanor charges of child endangerment in the Sandusky case. Former Athletic Director Tim Curley and ex-Vice President Gary Schultz originally faced felony charges. They'll be sentenced at a later date. The punishment could be up to five years in prison. Former President Graham Spanier's case is set for jury duty next week. Penn State students are back from spring break trips that took them around the world as part of their classes. Destinations include Central America, South Africa, Poland, and Greece. International reporting students in Panama produce stories on news issues there, from the Pan Panama Canal and coral reefs to the education system and sports. They'll produce a special Center County Report TV program that will air later in the spring. The Penn State Bookstore has launched a new grant program to help projects for students and faculty. The bookstore will award more than $800,000 over the next five years. The first rounds of grants are going to places like the Student Affairs Emergency Assistance Fund, the Thaw and Webstream, a robotics competition at Penn State Du Bois, and the Class Gift Campaign. That's all for the Penn State Today Clipcast. For more, go to our website, commedia.psu.edu, to see student-produced news from the College Communications. Have a great day.